welcome to the next lecture in the course effective engineering teaching in practice in the previous lecture we looked at some introductory aspects of the course as well as three scenarios pertinent to inexperienced teachers or at different levels of experience uh, we were going to go back think about how the uh, various approaches the three different approaches were different uh, and then come back and discuss let's start discussing those three approaches the first approach just to recall quickly was just this acted out and then the second approach had some details and so on and then there was this third approach which considered the concept of rate right and then introduced the mass balance principle or an a useful form of mass balance as applied to a system this is where we ended up in the last class right and we were going to see what were the differences between the three approaches i'm sure you'd have found many differences for example in the very first approach there was absolutely no eye contact uh, made by the instructor with the audience right that's very important that's one of the essence essential features of communication the organization on the board the person wrote something here and then wrote something on top and so on and so forth that's not very good the demeanor of the instructor shifty unsure nervous which is very typical of a first time first time instructor an experienced instructor the focus import, most importantly was solely on the self and the content nothing else right the person was interested in what the person was thinking no real appreciation of what the class was about the class of whatever 60 people sitting there 60 students sitting there absolutely no concern about that and was very focused on the content that was going to be covered and uh, the person was trying to somehow mention the content without really communicating the content okay communication as we all know is that we need to say something the person on the other side or the people on the other side need to understand it and strictly speaking they need to say something back okay and then we need to understand it that's complete communication whereas the communication was given a fly by here and the concern for the students especially their level of knowledge their appreciation whether they were able to really understand whatever was said or was the uh, how they would really process it and so on and so forth all that was completely ignored by the instructor in typically the first approach a little bit in the second approach and so on okay so approach 1 the principle was merely stated approach 2 the background to the principle was provided better communication of course and approach 3 a story was used right the water tanker story the need and relevance of the principle were established or the need to know the rate and so on and so forth was established and then the discussion began at the level of the student and then it took the student to the needed level of appreciation of the principle of course this would be followed by an example strictly speaking so that the students would understand that a lot better but you get the idea we you know uh, we would we would uh, do that anyway in the later parts of the course i pretty much use the same examples to show you different shades of things okay. in other words in the first approach and to a certain extent in the second approach the learner or the student is not at the core of the approach by an inexperienced teacher right that is the major aspect that was different in the third approach in the first two approaches or uh, the first approach especially the content seemed to be at the core of things uh, whereas in the um, third approach the content was an important aspect 
of communication. Okay, there were many other aspects, and that I think is something that people learn with time, with experience, and so on and so forth. Content is only one aspect. Okay, the appreciation of the content, the way it is uh, to enable appreciation, the way it is communicated to the audience, that is a very large aspect which is completely ignored by inexperienced people, and also the communication was completely ignored. So, these uh, I am sure you would have come across various different uh, differences between the three approaches. If you, uh, you could discuss them in the forum for the course and that would make things interesting, I would be following that forum. I think that is what I have for, uh, yes, that is what I have for this particular uh, chapter if you want to call it so, the first chapter which is an inexperienced teacher's view of the learning process. When we, this would be a short lecture, that is fine, I did not want to continue and so on and so forth. This is fine, uh, you go ahead and process this. When we meet the next time, we will take things further. See you then.